everyone how is everyone doing today i hope everyone is doing good welcome back to my channel and i want to thank you so much in advance for coming back to check out another one of my videos um so today is friday and i want to start off by saying happy friday it is the weekend it's memorial day weekend at that and we made it through another week which is such a blessing so i hope everyone is doing really really good today and feeling good i'm actually feeling pretty good today um like i said because you know obviously today is friday and also because it's three more days until my daughter's birthday her birthday is on memorial day which is monday and she'll be four years old so i'm definitely definitely excited about that and i know she is as well um and so she's definitely been very very excited about that she's actually been asking about her birthday since like may 1st you know like it's my birthday here yet like when's it like i'm ready for it when's it coming up so she'll be very very excited for monday as well um but today i just wanted to come to you just to talk a little bit about self-love as i know a lot of us have dealt with self-love you know um a lot of us have dealt with self-love issues and where we just don't exactly love ourselves. and self-love is so very very important because you have to love yourself before you can love someone else if you don't really love yourself then you're going to be looking for validation in another person or looking for validation from someone else so knowing that you're confident and loving yourself like that's key um i actually do struggle with self-love still a little bit um and it's something that i'm still working on and learning each and every day and you know i'm definitely more and more each day appreciating you know who god made me to be and i'm appreciating it more and more each day um because i know that everyone is different i know that god made us all you know different and he made us all special so you know that's something that i'm definitely getting better at um, but my struggles with self-love did actually start back in school, back in maybe about fifth or sixth grade. And, you know, you know, when you're in school, sometimes kids do tend to pick on other kids. So, you know, I got picked on a few times, you know, kids would say, oh, your forehead is super big or your nose is big or you're way too skinny. You know, you need to eat more, you know, just little things like that. And for me, you know, it did start to weigh on me because, you know, like, you know, who wants to get picked on? And me being the type of person that I, you know, am, like, I'm such a down-to-earth, laid-back person. I'm pretty cool. Like, I can pretty much get along with anyone. So, you know, that kind of stuff, yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm a little sensitive as well. So, yeah, it did get to me. Um... But then, you know, as I got older and once I got, you know, further along in school, I'll say once I got to my senior year of high school, you know, that's when I started to really realize my worth and realize, you know, that self-love is so important that I just need to love me and who God made me to be, you know. And I really, especially when I got to college, you know, college, when you, after high school and when you're getting out in life and in the real world, even if you didn't go to college, when you're getting out in the real world and you're just, you know, being like kind of on your own, then you start to really realize and see different things and different scenarios. So me going to, you know, me going to college and being at college, it definitely taught me a lot of different things. And, you know, I realized that self-love is so, so important. It's also important, especially, um, especially if you have kids, because like, how can you teach them to love themselves if you don't love yourself? You know, so that's something that I feel a lot of people battle with each and every day. But it's something that's definitely, definitely, definitely important. And, um, you know, I just wanted to, you know, just talk briefly about that. Because it is important to me. Especially for um, someone like me who's dealt with self-esteem issues and you know, who's maybe felt a little insecure about things. And, like, even now, some days I still have my days where I'm like, you know, mm, maybe I really don't like how I look or, you know, you know, just different things. Especially when I went through my depression moment and my hair started falling out. 
like that really kind of played on my self-esteem because I was like, oh my gosh, like I feel like, you know, maybe I'm going to start looking ugly because my dreads are falling out or, you know, we're falling out and, or maybe, um, you know, cause I've gained a little weight, you know, maybe I'm not gonna, you know, but you know, I just had to learn to realize that you have to love yourself, you know, no one no one can validate no one should validate who you are you have to love yourself and know that god made you who you are and that he made you he made you like he made you to be special and he made us all to be different so i think that's very very important you know what i'm saying and that's something that you know i'm definitely making sure that i instill into my children um self-love you know each and every day i make sure i tell my daughter like you know you're beautiful right or, you know, or my son, you know, you're handsome, right? You know, they always say, yes, I know. Like, you know, that's something that I want to instill that confidence in them because in this world, people will try to shake you. People will try to knock you down. People will try to, you know, make you feel like you're less than, um, some people will, people will talk about you, you know, and that was another thing that I had to learn also, you know, with self-love, loving yourself so much that you don't even care what anyone says about you. Like, that's, like, that's bomb and that's how it should be. Like, loving yourself so much that you don't even care what others think or say about you. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm still struggling with that myself because, you know, I do still to a certain extent care what others think about me and or what they say about me. So, you know, I do still struggle with that. But, you know, people people are going to say things. You know, some people are going to say mean things. Or some people are going to talk. Or some people are going to maybe not like you. But it is what it is. You know, God made you who you are. And, yeah, people don't like you. Oh, well. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you're not on earth to please them. You're not on earth to please people. Like, you're on earth to do what God has called you to do, you know, to complete your destiny and, you know, to, you know, go down the path that you're supposed to go down to do the things that you're supposed to do. So if a person doesn't like you, it is what it is, you know, and I've definitely like, I'm so thankful that, you know, my mindset has gotten to that because, you know, at one point, I'm not going to lie, like I was, you know, I did used to like, it used to bother me when people would talk about me and, you know, of course, like, you know, words can hurt sometimes but you know I did have to realize that people are going to always talk you know and just remind myself that I have to love myself because you know that's something that is important that's something that I want to steal in my children so I have to learn to love myself even more each and every day so that is something that um like I said I'm still working on and you know, I just want to come and, you know, just say the, you know, that because, like I said, I know that it is something that we all deal with, but I know that through it all, we'll all overcome it and we're all gonna, you know, love ourselves each and, each and every day more and more. So, um, if you made it to the end of this video, please, please, please make sure you subscribe like this video and comment below on, you know, what do you feel about self-love and, you know, how do you feel, you know, why is it important to you? You know, how do you, um, build yourself up each and every day? Um, really quick, I do build myself up each and every day by, you know, saying positive things to myself, you know, speaking, you know positive things because you have to speak positive things so i speak positive things each and every day you know tell myself like girl you are beautiful like you are the bomb you are like you're gonna be successful you're gonna you're gonna do this you know so i just basically speak positive things to myself and that's how i have figured out how to work on my um self-love so like i said go ahead and comment below your thoughts and what you feel about self-love, how you build yourself up each and every day, because it is so very, very important. Um, 
and please comment like and subscribe you know give the video a thumbs up and that is all for today and like i said enjoy your weekend as well have a great weekend have a great memorial day weekend i know some of you probably going to put some good food on that grill but make sure that you be safe you know wear your mask practice social distancing stay six feet apart and, you know, just be safe and be blessed. And I hope you all have a great, 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 great rest of your day and have a great evening. Bye.